Good morning. It's Samir here again. So I am covering nine and a half weeks, 1986, with Kim Bessinger and Mickey Rooney. What can I say about this movie? I remember as a, a kid, obviously I couldn't watch it because um, I wasn't 18 at the time, but I remember going into secondary school and people talking about it. And I know why now. And I'm sure a lot of teenage boys in the 80s watched it on VHS when mum and dad were out. It's very 80s. The, fa uh, the styling, the uh, studio, uh, the art studio is very much like that. Um, Kim Bessinger, wow. Uh, she looked very, very hot uh, in this movie. Uh, stunning. And I think she acted very well. Mickey Rooney as well was a very good looking guy, one of the 80s big stars. Yeah, it's about the high end or the high side or high end side of life of the 80s. The movie's about sex games and uh, you, uh, your main side of relationships as well. But there's a scene in it which I remember that I never got as a kid, but they had it advertised. Uh, on British TV where they would be playing games and, and they had the same music song they would be feeding each other and joking around but yes it was basically this uh, advertise was copied from nine and a half weeks where a couple are playing with food in the kitchen etc and obviously I didn't get that at the time because uh, I had not watched the movie I watched it once uh, ages ago and I had completely forgot about it till I watched this again Kim Bessinger character, she acts like a very innocent lady, like she's like, like Madonna would say, like a virgin, basically. What I find about, the uh, other thing I find about this movie is the the artwork is very 80s, the music is very 80s, obviously it's in the 86, so it would be, but some great music, some great artwork, and I'll be very frank and honest, I, would, I loved the 80s as a kid, and uh, I always hoped, you know, people would be wearing free piece suits or whatever they would, and I would be well dressed, and the ladies would be well dressed, etc. But things change in the nineties, etc. Uh, but yeah, uh, so it's nice to see that uh, and loft apartments, which were the fashion for the yuppies at the time. Wow, um, it's about old love. It's an old love story, etc. Uh, why don't we say it was a basically a movie that teenager boys would watch or young couples would watch before the day where uh, before the days where um, adult movies or porn um, was available f uh, on the internet for free, and I, I think this is done in a much better way. I think that 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 is completely different. Uh, comparing cheese and chalk, one is a romantic movie with scenes which were very risky for the 80s and another one is all the way which is just you know but I think this is the closest certain you know most teenagers got to watch these sort of uh, adult movies music systems of the 80s it's like CD players were just coming in the thing that I found fascinating was like um, he asked him Bessinger basically watching him touch her or basically asking her to touch herself thinking of him and um, which she does in her studio which was done in a very artistic way you knew exactly what was happening and what she was doing and yeah it was a superb story and i think it was a very humane story i think obviously young couples did that uh do you think of that uh, romance you know sexually the closest move that has come to this uh, recently is Fifty Shades of Grey. Watch it once, and I think you might even like this more than uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, if you've seen it, people say this is much better than Fifty Shades of Grey. But overall, the movie was great. Mickey Rooney was superb, and obviously beautiful Kim Bessinger. Wow, she was really, really beautiful. Uh, not only beautiful, but she did great acting. I'm quite surprised she never ended up being one of the top actresses like Debbie Moore she she is a top actress but what I mean like the AAA uh, style where you know um style uh, sort of uh, the top ones who were sort of earning in those uh, 90s especially 12 million 15 million dollars a movie 
for some reason, I don't think him messenger really worked. Really chose certain right movies, and then then she got his motel at Boulder and had a child and got married, etc. But yeah, two great actors of the eighties who should have both should have actually gone on to do better stuff than they did and achieve more. But watch this movie because I think anyone watching who's seen Fifty Shades of Grey will like this better. Yeah.